What is happening, guys? Welcome back. Before we tackle the final boss, time to go after the key that we couldn't do before. Uh, so I did quite a bit of farming, farmed up some gold. I got my, my nuke ability. Uh, this guy. That is now up all the way to rank 9, grade 9. I also got Accelerator. I had to beat the ninja. Um, I tried doing I kept hearing people say that you could use the speed belt to beat him. That wasn't working for me, so what I ended up doing to finally beat him was basically just racing while holding out Reflector Ray and then continually teleporting in front of him to get that. It's a millionaire's room. Killer slot machine. Ow, cop. God, this thing is annoying. Oh, we killed it. So that thing is down. I'm guessing it probably has a shard that I could farm too, but. Him. Gives me 99% completion. I'm definitely almost at the map. I'm done. The last place is here. And then there was something, I think it's 100% map completion, and there's a hidden fight against, uh, the uh, OD. Wait, hang on. No, this is it, yeah. I also finally went ahead and got double jump, which is pretty sweet. You can, uh, shoot way up way fast with that thing. Poor horse. Alright, what do we got here? Arise, myself and my shadow! Up. I have, um... Let me see. Okay, luck and gold are I think this is supposed to be like a Belmont, basically. That's why he has the whip. This ability is too OP! When it's rude, throw a spinning blade that returns like a boomerang. That I need, that I need, that I need. I wonder what kind of damage something like that does. Find something to hit with it. It's a very short range, but if it does, if that, like, if I get a... Basically, if I get multiple hits on the shuriken for every every uh, ability, that could be really cool. So I'm going to try that out. I don't know if it'll beat my, my fall to lob thing. Which actually, hang on, with that room, am I at 100% of the map? I am, no, still only 99. Um, so I think it's just the final boss. I don't very carefully seeing if there's any areas that are unexplored still. I mean, there could also be, like, hidden rooms that I missed. I love this thing. Which, apparently, this, you, uh, this goes through to New Game Plus. Which would be awesome, because it's super fast. Dimension shift! Dimension shift! Dimension shift! Dimension shift! Dimension shift! Is there nothing to fight here? 
besides the boss. Well, I guess I can try it on what's her face and see what kind of damage it does. Yeah! Give me that strength buff. Actually, hang on, do I have... I don't have any food, I have five potions. So, if I really, really want to be cheeky, I could probably load up with, um... I want to try out that new ability I got. Boss fight probably isn't the best time to be trying something like this out, but if it's really good... He's getting 66 per kick. He doesn't really stay that long. I mean, that's pretty good. I think leveled up, that could be really good, but... Oh, wow. That, that is a nuke now. Holy shit. Ow, what the hell is all this shit? Oh, damn, she's got a grab attack, too? Summon up your demon. Let's see if he can handle my big, big old nuke. I'm gonna be honest, I think I took too much damage right there. He's an angry boy. Get my buff up. Arise myself and my shadow. Hello there. Yeah. Damn, stop that. Yeah. All right, Italian's taking too long. We need to. Can't get like a good, good hit. There we go. That may be the spot for me to attack is over here on the head. Oh god. Yeah, it's gonna be way easier for me to attack that head than the other one. Wait, that well, looks like the one head's down. Yeah, it's like one head is down, basically. Second head down. When oh, this one's up again.
Looks like I got her. Dominique. She could have done so much good, but... I know. Wait. The Liber Logaeth. <sighs> the book that started it all. What are you going to do with it? The same thing the Master was trying to do before he died. He inscribed Enochian letters onto each of the castle's structural weaknesses. Now, I will use the book to perform a rite here at the heart of the castle. The rite will activate the Enochian script and send the castle and demons back from whence they came. So that's what Alfred was trying to accomplish. We need to begin. Stand back, Miriam. Castle. It's over. Yes. You've made the world right again. Not without sacrifice. Jebel. Alfred. Zongetsu. Jebel's fate was already sealed. There was nothing you could have done. And the master. And Zangetsu made their own choices. They fought gladly and proudly for what they believed in. Lives like theirs deserve to be celebrated. True. And demons still remain in this world. They can grieve later, after finishing the last of them off. That reminds me. The Master took note of how I was forestalling your corruption and suggested some improvements. I think I might be able to stop the crystal from overtaking you permanently. Really? I can't make any promises, but yes, I think. Well, thank you, Johannes. You're very welcome. Come on, let's go home. All right. Is that a wrap? Yes, and that's a wrap. Yep. Oh, man. Ooh, not too bad. I think my playtime was at 16 hours. Um, so anyway, let's do a review. This is obviously my, my first time in a true Castlevania-like. And I gotta say, I actually enjoyed this a lot. Like, I, I found myself, um, you know, I was grinding. Anytime I had a chance, I was grinding and getting, like, oh, I want to max out this shard, or, oh, I can get a, you know, a gold drop shard, cool, I can max that out and then have it as a passive, and a lot of times in games where there's a grind, it's usually like, oh, I gotta grind to make this one weapon, and in this, I didn't mind the grind, maybe it's because it was, it was really simple, it wasn't like a pain in the ass, but I actually had a lot of fun grinding out the, the different shards and, and getting new weapons and whatnot, um, in terms of overall gameplay uh, I do think it was pretty good I mean you had a fair amount of flexibility even though I ended up using the flying sword for almost the entirety of the game as soon as I got it but you know I, I pull out the great sword every now and then the regular swords seemed that they, they could be pretty OP especially with jump canceling um, the whip spears I didn't really do much with like the kicks or daggers the guns but there's still a lot of other weapon types that I didn't even really you know delve into so I think with uh, you know with the right build definitely a lot of different play styles applicable um, and to, to that note the shards in particular I mean I you know just being who I am I obviously was gravitating towards the more OP shards stuff like welcome companies the giant shield around you stuff like uh, that giant orb thing I have where I was getting like 200 damage a tick and multiple ticks a second so stuff like that I like that the game gave you the flexibility <clears throat> to where if you wanted to go for like super OP stuff like that you could do it 
Whereas if you wanted to, you know, make your build around, I, I don't know, poisoning something and doing quick hits, you could do that as well. If you wanted to do ranged single target type stuff or AOE, like there was just, there was a lot of choices available, which I think was really cool. Um, music was awesome. Sound design was awesome. I do think sometimes the sound got slightly annoying just because she would, you know, she would announce out every time she did a cast. So, like, every single time I used Welcome Company, it's like, me and my shadow, me and my shadow, me and my shadow. So, I mean, I understand why it's like that, uh, but I do think that started to, to drone on after a little bit. But I think that's kind of to be expected when, you know, you, you have a build that's focused around ability usage, kind of how I had. Uh, but music in particular, I thought, was really good, even more so than the sound design. Like, there were certain zones that, you know, in between episodes when I was busy, you know, making thumbnails or editing or uploading or what have you, I would just AFK in that zone and just listen to the music. So, really good soundtrack on this game. Um, in terms of difficulty, I mean, obviously we were playing on normal, but I do think the difficulty was pretty good for a first playthrough where you're on normal. I mean, we had... You know, some stuff like basic enemies I was able to just blow through, especially with a build that was rather OP. But there were bosses that I had to, like, you know, back up from and attack again. Like, the first time I fought the, uh, the vampire blood rain lady, she beat my ass, had to, to you know, work, work on my character a little bit, come back and fight her. First time I, I fought Zangetsu, I had to leave, work on my character, come back and fight him. First time I fought the final boss, in fact, had to, to do the same, so... I think the difficulty was actually in a really good spot uh, for for this being normal. I'd imagine playing it on hard or nightmare, it gets pretty crazy, and your ability at platforming and dodging would probably come into question more. So, uh, all things said, even though I typically try to play games on one of the hardest difficulties available, I think it was probably a good choice that the game kind of forced me into normal. Because speaking frankly, I think if I had been on nightmare or hard or one of the, the higher difficulties, I think I probably would have ended up getting my ass beat a lot more because there were times where my strategy was just, all right, I'm going to face tank this and I'm just going to obliterate it with more damage than it can handle. And thankfully it worked out, but on a higher difficulty, I imagine that would not be the case. Um, in terms of replayability, I definitely think there's a lot here. And I know we don't have them yet, but I want to say that they were planning on adding additional characters to the game or something. I'll, I'll Google that while we're... While we're uh, sitting here discussing um but i mean I, I had a lot of fun with it and i do think i would go back and play it again uh, as i mentioned in a couple of the episodes i think i'd want to wait until the switch version is kind of worked on a little bit because i've heard that the, the switch version is the, the weakest performing version which is to be expected but more than just the weak performance on it um there were issues where like the frames were dropping below 30 and on some of these boss fights where you have to dodge all kinds of shit coming in, um, it essentially made it like almost impossible for players, at least that's what I heard. Obviously, we were playing on PC, so from a technical standpoint, the PC version ran like a dream. I mean, I didn't run into any hiccups whatsoever. You know, I, the, the game never crashed on me. The only thing I ran into that was a problem, <clears throat> wasn't even the game itself, was my computer running out of space while recording. All in all, I think they did a really good job on this, and, um, you know, I, I, my Wi-Fi downstairs is, is complete ass. I can, hang on, I can, I can alt-tab out, it'll pause it, but, uh, see, new characters, bloodstained. Uh, enter another one of the game's playable character. If you played the prequel game, you might remember the story of the Swordsman Zangetsu, we ended up meeting other characters, including Miriam, someone coming to Dark Tower. I guess we're able to to play through the game as Zangetsu. And then, here, oh, here we go, DLC Roadmap. This is what I want. So, play as Demon Hunter Zangetsu, one more extra. There will be a total of two extra playable characters for Bloodstained, with one already being Zangetsu. There's another one that hasn't been announced yet. New Game Plus, Nightmare, Speed Rush, Boss Rush already available. Uh, co-op and Versus mode confirmed. We'll have a co-op and Versus mode in its upcoming DLCs. Fans will be able to play together with friends, or working together, or against each other. Or upcoming DLC modes includes a roguelike mode. That sounds fucking awesome. 
chaos mode, classic mode, and boss revenge mode. New Ethereum outfits. So just looking through that, I mean, there's a lot on the horizon that I think would make me come back to this game, especially the roguelike. I think I think a roguelike uh, approach to this where, you know, the, the shards that drop are random and you can't necessarily farm a shard to make it stronger. Uh, random weapon drops. I mean, I think that could potentially be really, really cool in a game like this. Uh, you know, as long as there's a way, I guess my only concern with a roguelike element to this would be if shards are randomized, there needs to be a way that you can you can farm up shards, because otherwise it's like, you know, you're just randomly, you have like stuff that's one, stuff that's two, but then again, that could be fun, you know, forcing you to use what you have without being able to put something up to 9-9, nine -nine, kind of how I was, that could be pretty entertaining. I, keep, I will keep praying for this game to be played by many people to do that, that must be a vampire. <laughs> I mean, either way, I definitely had a lot of fun playing this. Um, I know a lot of you guys have been suggesting I go back and check out the various Symphony, Symphony of the Nights and stuff like that. Um, I'm not sure I, I'll plan on doing anything like that for the channel, but if I have some upcoming time on stream where things slow down, that might be something to do is go back and visit some of the predecessors that essentially inspired this game. But at least based on, on this playthrough, I will say I had a lot of fun and... Uh, at the price point it is, I would definitely recommend this. Like, I mean, trying to find something wrong with this game, and I really, really can't. I mean, it was this was just this was phenomenal. I would I would put this at you know 10 out of 10. I'd say I had a blast playing it. I had a blast even during the the boring farming parts. I thought the bosses were cool. I thought there was good variety in builds and weapons and abilities, and especially given the the DLC roadmap. I mean, if I was to knock a point off this game, it would be because of the performance on the Switch version. If you, you know, count my experience on the PC, this was definitely a 10 out of 10. And I would say, at least given, you know, the summer is generally slower, this is, is a amazing game to come out during the slower summer months. I had an absolute blast playing this. So, I don't know. Let's uh, see if it just allows us to go straight into New Game Plus or how it works exactly. Extra mode. Boss rush speed run. If I go here, difficulty normal clear, resume the save data. So it puts me right back before I face the boss. Okay, and then I could just refight the boss again, it looks like. I'm not here to fight you, lady. I am here to dip the fuck out. Oh shit. Oh. Like, look at that damage, dude. This thing is silly. Gotta stop at that. I'm like trying to die, but I figured it'll be easier to die against Bill. Actually, I might be able to. If I can pause and look at the map. Because I'm looking at it, I, I mean, 99.2. There has to be hidden rooms that I missed. Looking through all this, like, nothing... I don't see any areas where it's like, oh yeah, there's something that could have been accessed there and you didn't. And I really want to know, like, what, what am I missing? What did I not get? I even went back to the ship and got the stuff that was there. Actually, I wonder if it's this, the initial starter room. Maybe I have to go all the way back to that. I'll kill the boss again, just so I can get out of here and explore. Well, either I'll die or the boss will die. I'm not going to bother healing or anything. I'm just going to see how much I can nuke this thing before I die.
Don't laugh. I tried to die, lady. Alright, so let me use... Nine of these. Uh, I finished this guy's quest. Managed to go get him after I had the uh, diversity ring. I got his quest done after I had the the warp. I went back and so. status inflictions to increase your attack power. Like a hard mode ring, essentially. Let's go to the ship. I want to see if that's my hundred percent map that I'm missing. I gotta get there. Gotta get here. Do do do. Okay, so just drop down. So I'm not sure how much of the game persists into New Game Plus, but you keep like a good chunk of your shards and accelerator and shit like that. I feel like New Game Plus would be a just a blast. Like, I'd probably enjoy that more than the, the base game. Just being able to be like, zoopity zoop! This is back where we start. Holborn. I haven't played with the guns, but I've heard guns can be really OP. Oh, wow. 23? Yeah, so that's... And damn it, 99 point. Oh no, hang on, there's another room. Fast travel for the Minerva. Puts me at 99.4. I'm still not complete the map! Re! God, I really want to know what it is that I'm missing. That's gonna bother me. It's gonna bother the shit out of me. Because, like, what do you do here? What do you, like, what do you Google? Stuck at 99%, can't find hidden room? Like, there's so many possible. Who knows? Oh, God. Okay, well, let me go, um... Hang on, let me get that save real quick. I want to see, um... <clears throat> before we wrap up, I want to start a new game plus file and see what all carries over. So what was my final time at? 16 hours, 6 minutes. Okay. Options, title screen. Temporary save data will be created every time the screen transitions. They'll be deleted after returning to the tile. Um. Oh, here we go. Carry your items and begin a new game. Some items cannot be carried over. All right, let's see. <clears throat> Curious what all carries. Johannes. I have that still. Let me look at my shards. Um, so augments carried. Shortcut carried. Accelerator did. Any Morphosis healing. So basically, all of my like my my uh, stuff that like I need for progression doesn't carry. It looks like the stuff like being able to move objects, uh, being able to warp places. That stuff did not carry, which is expected. What about um, like the item, the armor to avoid traps? Let's see if that carries. Trap avoiding armor did not carry. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. No, it did not. Okay. So basically, anything that is in place to impede progress doesn't carry over. But it looks like pretty much everything else does. Uh, my, my food bonuses are still there. My air apparent stuff. All of my dishes. That's pretty cool. Now, the real question is, is this a second save? Or... Does it overwrite your first save instantly? I'd imagine it does. Difficulty normal, clear. Wait. I think this is... Okay, yeah. So until you, like, actually save. Which I'm assuming I could create the new game in a different slot. So anyway, we're going to wrap this one up here. Definitely had a lot of fun playing this. As for the next game to look out for, uh, 
the part three of Attack on Titan is finally being released to kind of wrap things up now that the anime has finished its third season. So I'm going to jump into that because, as many of you guys know, I am a huge weeb. But anyway, thanks for coming on by. Hope you guys enjoyed watching Bloodstain. This was definitely a lot of fun to play. Would highly recommend it. And I'll catch you guys soon enough. Attack on Titan.